Buongiorno a tutti. Sono la signora Nash e sono la vostra professoressa di italiano. Today we are looking at the articulated prepositions in plus the. In Italian it becomes nel, nello, nella, nel, nei, nelli, nelle. So in Italian, when the preposition in is followed by the definite article, the, they combine to become one word. In plus il, lo, la, el apostrophe, i, li, le, equals nel, nello, nella, nel, nei, nelli, nelle. Those are called articulated prepositions or prepositional articles. Now, let's have a look at the masculine articulated prepositions in the singular. In plus il equals nel. When you combine the Italian preposition in with the article il, you would get the following articulated preposition, nel. So, if I want to say that the lion is in the circus, in Italian I would have to say it that way. Il leone è nel circo. And not il leone è in il circo. Because that would be wrong. Here is another example. Il ragazzo è nel treno. The boy is in the train. Now, let's have a look at in plus lo equals nello. Remember the special masculine definite article lo we saw in video number two. It is the article you use in front of a double consonant, z or x. Lo zoo, the zoo. Lo zaino, the backpack. If you combine the preposition in with the definite article lo, you get in plus lo equals nello. If I want to say that the goat is in the zoo, in Italian I will say it that way. La capra è nello zoo. And not la capra è in lo zoo. That is wrong, of course. Here is another example. Il libro è nello zaino. The book is in the backpack. Now, let's have a look at the feminine articulated preposition in the singular. In plus la equals nella. When you combine the Italian preposition in with the article la, you guessed it, you get the following articulated preposition, nella. So, if I want to say that the sheep is in the farm, in Italian, I would have to say it that way. And I'm sure you know, you have guessed it already. La pecora è nella fattoria. Bravi. And not la pecora è in la fattoria. That would be wrong, of course. Let's have a look at another example. La ragazza è nella casa. The girl is in the house. Now, let's have a look at in plus l apostrophe. In plus l apostrophe equals nel with an apostrophe. Remember the article l apostrophe we use in front of a noun which starts with a vowel. We will need to combine that one too. So, when you combine the Italian preposition in with the article l apostrophe, you get the following articulated preposition, nel, with apostrophe. Nell'aula, in the classroom. I ragazzi sono nell'aula. The boys and the girls are in the classroom. Nell'ufficio, in the office. La dottoressa è nell'ufficio. The female doctor is in the office. What do you notice? Sì, bravi che siete, bravo, well done. We use nel 
both for masculine and feminine nouns which start with a vowel. Now, let's have a look at the masculine articulated prepositions in the plural. In plus e would become nay. So if I want to say that the lions are in the circuses, in Italian I would have to say it that way. I leoni sono nei circhi, and not i leoni sono in i circhi. That is wrong. Not only it's wrong, but can you hear how difficult it is to say? I ragazzi sono nei treni. The boys are in the trains. In plus li becomes nelli. And can you remember? The special article lo. Well, in the plural, it becomes li. And in plus li becomes nelli. So you can use nelli in front of masculine plural nouns which start with a double consonant, a z or a x. Li zo for the zoos, li zaini for the backpacks. And if I want to say that the goats are in the zoos in Italian, I would say it that way. Le capre sono nelli zoo. And I'm sure by now you know, but you cannot say Le capre sono in li zoo. Perché? Because it would be wrong. I libri sono nelli zaini. The books are in the backpacks. But also, you can use nelli with masculine nouns which start with a vowel. Le dottoresse sono nelli uffici. Now, the feminine articulated prepositions in the plural. Well, there's only one, so that's easy. In plus le becomes nelle. So if I want to say that the sheep are in the farms, in Italian, I would have to say it that way. Le pecore sono nelle fattorie. And not le pecore sono in le fattorie. That is wrong. Le ragazze sono nelle case. The girls are in the houses. You also use nelle in front of plural feminine nouns which start with a vowel. Nelle aule ci sono i ragazzi. In the classrooms there are the students. So, in a nutshell, in a singular, in plus il equals nel, in plus lo equals nello, in plus la equals nella, in plus l apostrophe equals nel. In the plural, in plus i equals ne, in plus li equals nelli, in plus le equals nelle. And of course, those rules apply to other prepositions such as a, su, da, di, a, etc. But for now on I just want you to focus on our lesson about in plus the in Italian. So you can go to the next slide to practice with exercises but I want to tell you well done, bravo! Now you are mastering the art of the combined preposition and articles. Ciao a tutti and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.